Christian, firstly tell me what is Fiamme Oro? Fiamme Oro is a group sportive for the police in Italy. Uh, I have the big group because I have the motocross, enduro, trial and the MotoGP. I am the technical sportive uh, motocross and uh, my work is uh, staying um, the week um, for the rider training. Uh, Lupino, Cervellin, Fontanesi and Nocera. This year I work so much uh, with Lupino because Lupino have the, um, the team, uh, Holland team, Dutch team and now I have the support uh, in, uh, in Italy. Uh, for me it's really nice, especially in the, in the race like this in Imali, then uh, you, you ride with the uh, with police uh, shirts is something uh, amazing and then uh, especially because my dad he was working in the army so I make my family proud again and then it was a, it was a little jo a little dream that uh, when he was kids now now I can be part of the police so it's really it's really nice So tell us, what, what does it involve during the off-season? During the off-season, when we don't go on the bike, uh, we are invited uh, by, by police, uh, with, for example, the Expo in Milan or Motor Show Bologna. We stay there uh, for, to show that, uh, that to the people that the police is not uh, only for, um, on the road, but we are close also on the sport. So, we will show to the people that uh, we are uh, close to all the all the normal life uh, in the police. So the most uh, remember of uh, Fiamme Oro is uh, that we win uh, four years in a row the Italian Championship, and it was long time ago that didn't happen to Fiamme Oro, especially in motocross. So we bring that we bring uh, Fiamme Oro, we bring police back on the top and with uh, Italian uh, Italian color. So I'm, I'm really proud to, to be the man that uh, bring the, back that. How did you personally enter? I mean, did you need an exam or something like that? Yeah, uh, you need to, to win some championship and have some great results. And then you need to pass some exams. And uh, then if you are done, you will enter. And how does it feel to, to represent them? It's quite an important role. Yeah, it's really nice and uh, I'm really proud to be a part of this group. During the off-season, what's your involvement? Uh, normally we go to ECMA or uh, when they, they need us, they call us for uh, some events and uh, we, we should go together with other riders and uh, that's it all at the moment. And it's a good opportunity for young guys or young riders. You know, not everybody is like Erling, so Cairoli have a good salary and with Fiamme Oro is, is a good for the future. If, if, you don't, uh, if you don't continue with the motocross, you have one work and he help you a lot with the, for the life. A lot of moment. The, the school we do in Rome with Alessandro six mount. It was good. Is he uh, learn shooting? For me, I never use one gun, and it's it's good. It's working together. It's always fun with Christian, and yeah, it's really nice. You know, it's nice and it sounds weird to say yeah, I'm a police officer because uh, nobody believes, you know. But um, even if we are called with, the, when we compete, we are called with the Fiamme Oro name. We are still uh, at the same level of uh, the other uh, police officer that uh, they do their job on the road. It is nice. It's nice because uh, it's a good possibility that uh, the police gives to the athletes. And for you, what's the best moment you can remember in this job? Uh, the best moment I remember I attended for the police, it was when I had to go to the CONI, which is the Olympic commitment of Italy. Um, 
and I had to go with the, you know, with the suit from the police. So wearing the hat and everything, and it was like really weird, but special at the same time. And uh, I was the only one athlete of the police, so it was really nice.